Number 70. Determine whether aqueous solutions of the following salts are acidic, basic, or neutral. And then we have ammonium bromide, so NH4Br. So the first thing is generally with salts, they're ionic compounds, so we normally will see a metal with a nonmetal. But if I look at ammonium bromide, N, H, and Br, they're all nonmetals. But I have to still find the separation. Now, NH4 should be ringing some bells. That's a polyatomic ion. NH4 is ammonium. So the break that you're going to break your salts into is between the ammonium ion and the bromine. There's only two breaks here, two components. One is positive and one is negative. So in this case, you have NH4 plus, and then you have Br minus. Okay, the next part is to just remember that all these salts, when they're talking about ASIC, ASIC, <laughs> acidic, basic, or neutral, is they're always going to be in aqueous solutions, which means that you're dealing with water. Now, another way to write H2O is to talk about its ions. You have a hydronium in the beginning, and you have a hydroxide, right? HOH is the same thing as H2O. And remember, the hydronium is the acidic component. That's the positive charge. And the hydroxide is always the negative charge. So opposites attract. The H will always go with the negative, And then the hydroxide will always go with the positive. So let's write out those compounds now. So we have NH4. And I'm just going to tack on the OH. OK? And then when H comes together with Br, I just get HBr. Cool. Now we're going to talk about these compounds. Let's talk about HBr first. Is HBr one of your six strong acids or strong bases? Yeah, it is. It's a strong acid. It's right here. So I'm going to write that down. Strong acid. Any time that you have a strong acid, the conjugate is so, 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 so weak that it's classified as neutral. And that's where this part of the acidic, basic, or neutral comes from. So in this case, since we have a strong acid, HBr, the conjugate, which is what we have, Br minus, that's neutral. And since it's neutral, I kind of just cancel it out because it has no bearing on acidic or basic properties. Now we just do the same thing for the ammonium hydroxide. Is ammonium hydroxide on the list of one of your six strong bases? Mm, I got a lot of OHs here, but NH4OH is not one of them. So if it's not a strong base, it's classified as a weak base. And now we're over here. If you have a weak base, the conjugate is still weak, but it swaps. It would be acidic. It's weakly acidic, but it's acidic nonetheless. So this weak base, the conjugate that we have, is weakly acidic, but it's acidic. I can't cancel this out because it has acidic properties. But now you just kind of add them together. If you have an acidic part with the neutral part, the overall solution would be acidic. And that's the answer. So NH4Br uh, is acidic salt. And that's it. I think we got one more left for this question, so hang tight um, if you guys are on the playlist, which I recommend uh, you guys being. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. And I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>